Okay, let's take a look at YouTube, the page, and how to upload an assignment to YouTube. Uh, your YouTube should, page should look a lot like what my page does. Uh, there's a series of menus on the left, and over on the right, if you click on your icon, you'll get a pull-down menu that gives you an idea of uh, some settings that you can change within YouTube. Um, I also have set up a channel. I have a series of channels actually that I use for uh, educational purposes. And you're able to customize your channel, um, add playlists, um, add other channels to it, and upload videos if you choose to do so. So you can customize your channel over here, which will give you a series of options. Um, in terms of how you want the layout, what it, what, how you want it to look, uh, and you can actually add a banner, and you can upload a uh, thumbnail of yourself. Um, what I'm more interested in showing you, though, is um, a thing called YouTube Studio, which is YouTube's own editor. They've added on to this over the years, and this uh, has become quite robust. In fact, you're able to actually go in and edit videos that you've uploaded to YouTube. It's not as good an editor as, um, say, Final Cut or iMovie, but if you wanted to make something a quick change on a mobile device, you could do that within the YouTube Studio. They allow you the option to trim, add music, um, add templates to it, um, add advertising, your own advertising or branding to your video. So if you click on YouTube stu Studio, you'll see uh, there's an option here to upload a video. And you, collect, you click on Upload Video and it'll allow you to select a file. And then you'll be able to scroll down to where uh, your file is saved and import that file into YouTube. Once you've found your file, you merely need to select it and then open it. And YouTube will begin importing the file uh, right into the program. One of the things you're going to have to do is give your file a title. Um, the title is important because the title is how YouTube is going to find your video. So if someone searches for this. So this is a file about or a video of my Corgi. So I'm going to call this crazy dog crazy dog Lucy and then you can put in a description about your video and Lucy plays fetch okay so it'll take a little while this is already 95 percent processed yours is going to be several minutes it may take five minutes to upload this but nevertheless the process will be will be quick and fairly painless. Once it's uploaded, you'll see uh, a thumbnail of the video uh, over here on the right, and you're able to select a particular thumbnail that you can save. This is how the video will look when it is actually viewed on YouTube. Now, you can also upload your own thumbnail if you don't like any of the suggested thumbnails that YouTube has offered. Uh, this is your URL under the video link, and um, I'm just going to leave this the way this is, and you can actually put this on a particular playlist if you would like, but I'm not going to do that right now. So uh, I'm also uh, offer the option if I want to add a promotion at the end of the screen, add cards uh, related during my video. Uh, I'm not going to do any of those right now. Okay, we come to a screen right before we publish that deals with the visibility of the video. You're going to have to either make your videos either public or unlisted. If you make them private, I won't be able to evaluate your video. So uh, if you send me the URL and it's on YouTube, uh, I won't be able to see it. So if you just make it unlisted, only people you share the URL with will be able to see the video so you don't have to worry about your video being public. In this case, I'm going to just make it public. Uh, I'm not going to set it as an instant pre premiere. Uh, I don't think most people are going to want to watch this video, but I may be wrong. And then I will hit publish. 
and right away it goes and it's published um, what happens is as you're uploading the video YouTube is scanning it to see if there's anything objectionable in that video that would violate YouTube's terms of service what could be objectionable well you could be have copyrighted material either photos songs other video that is considered to be copyright um, once it is uploaded and it is there YouTube continues to scan videos on the site um, to see that they meet its terms of service if they do not meet the terms of service they will block it they won't they will you'll be forced to take it down so I have my video it's up I have video link I could share this video to any number of different services um, I'm going to close this and I'm going to go back and look at my video okay when I go to the video page I have a series of options I can look at the details the analytics which there will be none right now if I click on analytics because I just um, uploaded the video oops wrong video here so let's go to the Lucy Pace Plays Fetch analytics and as you see there's no analytics because it's a new video so what am I talking about analytics well this is in the lesson um, how long someone has viewed the video how many people have come to view the video um, are the two main main analytics you want to pay attention to so number of visits and amount of time watched so level of engagement on that video and YouTube measures all these for you so uh, I can go back and look at the details of my video and here's my title is description of this um, there's other options I can add um, in terms of how I would like it distributed um, if I want to add subtitles to it YouTube offers all these different different options once I make those changes I'm given an option if I want to save it if I don't save it it will not be saved believe me I've uploaded many videos and then forgotten to save them so it's something that you want to always consider doing or looking at is have I saved this so one of the things I always do when I upload a video is I want to see if it shows up in the search and if I just put corgi in here um, well I'm gonna get a lot of different corgis but if I put corgi Lucy uh, no, I don't get any corgi so I go back hmm let's see how did I say this well I didn't put corgi in the title so so how you title it's going to have a big impact on whether it shows up. Is it a unique title? So if I go over here and I search Crazy Dog Lucy, um, you'll see Crazy Dog, Crazy Corgi Dog. If I search Crazy Dog, well, there's lots of people that call their dogs Crazy Dog. So maybe if I call it Crazy with an I, that'll they have everybody else is calling it Crazy. So it really needs to be a unique title. Um, the algorithm is going to look for that, and the algorithm is also going to look at uh, your your description and any keywords that you're going to use so we didn't put any cat tags down here the tags I would add would be at the bottom of the page our dog um, corgi uh, I might go Lucy dog I can tag it any way I want but you're gonna take things that are most common and then do I wanna uh, say this video is okay for kids yeah kids like dogs now let's play the video and see how it sounds okay it seems like everything's pretty good so this is a good test to, to do after you have keyworded slash tagged a video put the title on it put a description on it and uploaded it uh, see how easy it is to find in inside of Google so I hope you found this this video presentation to be helpful in terms of giving you an idea of how YouTube works what's on YouTube how to upload a video tag it and search it on YouTube uh, this is something you're going to have to do as part of your final assignment so I thought we would kind of run through what I'd like you to do is try this out this week work with find a piece that you've shot previously or just shoot a quick video 
and upload it to video, upload it to YouTube, and tag it, and to give it a title, and then search for it. I think you'll find this very helpful, and that it'll help you uh, in the completion of your final project. Good luck to you, and thanks for listening.